childhood You'd hurt me and do it all over again Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of MD's Exclusive Festins. So today we are out with the best of the Mercedes, the S Class, the Nand Yacht by Mercedes Benz. You ruined my childhood. You'd hurt me and do it all over again. driven the car when we had shot the car last time that was night and I was very tired and I had not driven the car on its maximum capacities when it comes to the performance and that's what we're doing today as Parth was free as I was free and I wanted to take the S-Class out so here we are in the S-Class the car red lights to at about 6500 RPM guys close to 6700 also the only annoying thing about all these cars these days is this BS6 norm of the speed alert and that is way too annoying trust me doesn't stop at all but let's get back to the point currently we are driving in the sports mode and the car is extravagantly impressive and and trust me this car doesn't feel B-sized on the engine because the earlier S-Class petrol used to come in the S500 V8 and this is the S450 petrol that comes with a turbo 3 liter V6 but trust me it doesn't feel underpowered doesn't feel that we're not driving a V8 anymore it still gives that feel and that is the reason Mercedes wins the best or nothing so currently driving in the sport mode, the car is viewing an amazing performance, the suspensions are very stiff, the steering is very stiffer than what it was in the comfort mode or the EVO mode, or even in the individual we could set it. So that is only the one mode where we could have the engine in the eco. This was suspension in the comfort, the steering on the sports. So this is what the S-Class is all about and trust me when I've been driving this, the g force to this, and the way the car is handling the suspensions, the dampies, everything is so tight. It doesn't feel like a yacht at all. It feels like a sports car just when you want it. So now enough of going too fast. Now let's switch back to comfort. And let's even change the order on the street at this time. So driving in comfort now. So only worry before I He set the car to cruise control. It also has the lane assist feature. Okay. So the car is braked on its own. Seeing the car ahead, I did not have to brake. So that is what I'm trying to show you. From how cool these cruise control features are advancing to. How cool are they becoming day by day? It is assisting itself. I have to just tear it. It will even break itself. So nothing to be done. We've set it at 88. As soon as it detected the truck right there. Asked me to move the lane. Got the speed down. See again it detects the car ahead. The speed has come down to 72. It is detecting the car there. Show them the car there. See my cruise control. Show them the cruise control speed. It is set to 87, 88. We were driving on that road. We were moving on that. But now, this is what it is. This is the adaptive cruise control. So it is adapting to the cars ahead. It is sensing the distance between them. It will automatically gain and go ahead with the speed as it finds some space. As you can see, just be here, concentrate on here. So see, now it's braked again, come down to 44, 40. And now see, as soon as it sees the gap there, it will start going up again, 42, 43. So guys, this is a very cool feature on the cruise control. The safety behind this, the thought behind this is next level. Because imagine sometimes when you're driving on cruise control. So now there's a speed breaker. 
so let's see what it does right now if i'm not breaking it is stopped it is stopped amazing amazing features amazing things in the new s class the latest generation s class mercedes will never stop impressing you mercedes will always have one step ahead games to impress you and as i am a mercedes fan i always love mercedes more than anything the comfort in this comfort mode the car is legit legit feels like it is sailing in the sea and that is the reason it is also called the land yacht Sage, there's no bump, nothing. The suspensions are so softer now. You ruined my childhood. You hurt me and do it all over again. As I told you, currently we're driving the Eco. Now I put the car in comfort. The car is in comfort. We can choose the modes right here by touching them, or we can change it from here as well. On Anadi, the guy that's got a beautiful music system. As last time I showed you, this was with a touch of the swipe that it can work behind. Now, comfort the car has. A better throttle response for shorts, and you guys. By the way, we can change the display. We were on exclusive right now. Let's go to classic. We're driving in comfort, so this is the classic display. And we're driving in comfort. The car is very soft right now. The throttle response is also soft, and uh, it is. The steering also is very light right now. Very nimble. We had missed out on these details, and I hadn't driven this car properly. So this is kind of a day with the S class. You know, you could say that. You always made sure I was last. Never was anyone's friend in class. You always seemed angry and mad, but I know deep down you are so sad. You are so sad. 